Special sets are intervals. Well, intervals are in finite sets in R and in a kind of concatenated sets. Well, let's say take A and B to distinct constants in R, two elements in R, and A is smaller than B. We consider the following sets. First, we have the interval left open bracket A, B left open bracket. This is the set of all axes in R, all elements in R, which are larger than A and smaller than B. In the same fashion, we can look at a slightly different set where we include the element A and exclude still the element B. So here is the set of axes in R where X is at least A, so it could be A and smaller than B. Well, in a similar fashion, we can turn around these brackets to close the round one and, and, and the square one, the square bracket, and then we obtain the set of all axes that are larger than A and smaller or equal than B. If we want to express that we need the boundary values A and B included in the interval, then we might write, might just use square brackets and write A smaller equal X smaller equal B. But what these sets have in common is that these are all bounded sets, right? So um, the values of the axes contained in the intervals don't get arbitrarily large. Well, let's consider the unbounded intervals. We also have a notation for those. So first of all, consider the interval the infinite interval a until infinity so left open bracket round bracket a infinity is the set of x's in r all numbers in r which are at least a and strictly larger than a so now the set with the square bracket on the left hand side a infinity is the set of all x's that are at least a so A is contained in this set. So similarly we may look at the all the set of all elements smaller than A. So this would give the set minus infinity A open bracket, round bracket. And if we want to include A in this set, then we write minus infinity A square bracket. So A, B, if we return to the first uh, interval that we defined, we see that A and B do not belong as a boundary value to the interval specified as such. In this case, we will call the interval open. This is an open interval. So none of the boundary points is outside the interval. Or the boundary points are outside the interval. Well, from the unbounded intervals, we have two open intervals, which clearly, in which clearly A does not belong to the interval. What about the intervals that have square brackets? Well, if the boundary points belong to the interval, then we call such an interval closed. So here we have A and B belonging to the interval. So this is a closed interval. Similarly here from, from the unbounded intervals, A belongs to the interval, so this is a closed one as well. And here we have a final one, minus infinity A is also a closed interval. So now we have different types of intervals where we have one side A belongs to the interval and B on the right
right hand side does not belong to the interval. So this one is called left close and right open. Open from the right and left close. It's not, neither closed nor open. 